How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to be ripped at 40 years old, or any age for that matter. It doesn't matter how old you are. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. All right, so just wanna go over four quick main points of how to be ripped at any age. And I'm gonna show you what I recently ate in a day. I like to do these what I ate in a day videos to give you ideas of foods I recommend that to maintain health. All right, so number one when it comes to being ripped is intermittent fasting. And I talk about this a lot on a lot of my videos. Uh, I highly recommend intermittent fasting. And this is when you eat in a specified window every day. So let's say you eat any, anywhere between a one hour to an eight hour window, and you're fasting anywhere between 16 and 23 hours every day. Now there are a lot of health benefits to this, but also if you're overweight and you wanna lose fat and lose weight, you, you basically this is the best way to go about it is the number one thing to do is intermittent fast. Now, the more weight you have to lose, the tighter you need to have your eating window. So if you're, let's say you're 50 pounds or more overweight, you gotta have a 30 minute to a one hour eating window and keep the calories lower. As you lose weight, you're gonna be able to expand the eating window more. And then once you get to your goal weight, you just basically have a maintenance routine that works for your lifestyle. But I eat anywhere between a uh, two hour and eight hour window every day. Uh, just depending on what routine I'm doing. And right now I'm generally eating in a six to eight hour window. I sometimes go to a two to three hour window, but that kind of varies. But for you, you gotta do what's gonna work for you. Again, if the more weight you have to lose, you need to keep it in a tight eating window. And you can, you can expand that window as you get more fit and you need to maintain your weight, then you can get into maybe like a 16-8 routine where you're just intermittent fasting for 16 hours and you have an eight hour window. So that is number one, it's absolutely key. If you're not doing intermittent fasting and you're trying to lose weight, that's definitely something you gotta look into. Uh, the second thing is eating a clean diet. Now the foods that I eat for the most part and what I recommend are lots of fruits and vegetables. These are the most nutrient dense foods. In my opinion, they're the best foods for you. And they're also more calorie dilute. So if you're eating more of these fruits and vegetables, they're more water rich, fiber, and that's gonna help you maintain a lean body. So, um, you know, eating clean food is huge. Definitely recommend lots of fruits and vegetables. Of course, I'm not perfect, but I do the best I can, and I'm able to maintain the body that I want with that type of a diet. Um, the third thing is daily exercise. Now when I'm talking about exercise, I mean specifically you got to do some strength training and you got to work your muscles. Uh, I don't recommend just running or just doing one thing, but vary it up. Definitely work your muscles. I love calisthenics, so I make a lot of videos on different workout routines. They're usually very simple, 10 to 20 minutes long, doesn't take a whole lot of time, but uh, routines that are gonna work your body, use your muscles, and build strength, that's also gonna bur help burn fat as well. So, that's the third point. Daily exercise, things like calisthenics and strength training, highly recommend that. Check out some of my other videos to give you some good ideas on how to get a lean body. Uh, and the fourth thing is proper rest and recovery. So, make sure you're sleeping well at night, make sure if you need a day off from working out, you take that day off, let your body recover, and that's also really important. So those are the four main points. I'm also showing you here uh, what I recently ate in a day, just to help give you some more ideas. And before I do that, I wanted to mention I'm now doing fat loss and fitness and wellness coaching and motivation. So if you're interested in some help, just go ahead and email me, or you can message me on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll get in touch and see what I can do to help you out. All right, so here we go. Okay, so at 11 a.m. I put together this smoothie. It had a banana, a cup of frozen blueberries, and some water. So it's just a small smoothie. Uh, I wanted to have something before I went on a run today. So I threw that together and I had that at 11 a.m. to start off my food for the day. And it was good. It was tasty. And then I went on a run and then at 2 p.m. I made a bigger smoothie. Now this one had four frozen bananas, uh, a couple good handfuls of kale, a couple of tablespoons of cocoa powder, and some water. So this is what I call my um, green banana chocolate smoothie, and I really like that one. So I had that at 2 p.m., nice and filling. And then at 4.30, I had a salad. It was big. It had a lot of greens, had an avocado, an apple, a cucumber, some walnuts, and carrots. And I made a homemade salad dressing. This was a cashew 
uh, dressing. It had soaked cashews. It had garlic, some nutritional yeast, and salt and pepper. So I just kind of made it up. I threw it together, and it was actually pretty good. So I'll probably be using that again sometime. It was pretty simple, and, and it was tasty. So I had that salad at 430 and that was just before the very end of my meal, which was at 6 o'clock. I had some plant-based pancakes that I made. That's right, pancakes. And they were good. I had a few plates of these, actually. So this is just what they look like. They're plant-based. I used some blueberries on some of them, and I put peanut butter on some of them as well. So I used one or the other, and then some maple syrup. So that was the meal at 6, and then at uh, yeah, and then I had an apple after that. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.